Hey everybody, it's Mega T. Garrett here. If you're new to the channel, I would like to welcome you. My name is Terry. I am a totally blind individual and I do games and fitness and a few other things. And if you're returning to the channel, you'll see the title of this video may confuse you. We're doing Shades of Doom Level 1 again. I felt like when I uploaded the videos for the first time, I didn't do them justice. I didn't describe it enough and I didn't give the sighted person enough um, navigation to understand what I was doing. And for those who are new, Shades of Doom is a game that is designed totally for the blind. It was based on the old Doom series, but you navigate the entire uh, 3D world through sound. It's really cool. There's, there's going to be no video, um, but what we did different this time is we included a webcam so you can see my face in this, and I think that's going to improve the quality of the video tremendously. So I would encourage you to wear a pair of headphones while you're watching this video, because you'll be able to get um, a more immersive experience and understand where how I'm navigating and where I'm going and everything. So. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, and if you want to see more videos, and I do fitness, and I'm starting to incorporate firearms into my videos, then go ahead and subscribe, and the notification bell, hit that as well. And if you're new, welcome, and if you are uh, been a long timer of the channel, we th I thank you so much for your support, and let's get going with Shades of Doom Level 1. Lockdown. Threat is as yet unidentified. Good hunting, soldier. Welcome to Shades of Doom, a GMA game. Version 2.0. Select from menu, play game. Okay, so that's the introduction to the Shades of Doom. And I think the first thing we should do is go through the sound test. That way we can identify what sounds we're listening for. Place a sound help. Press up and down arrows to review sounds. Wind from north. So when you're heading north, that's the sound you'll hear. Wind from south. Just a little different. Wind from east or west. East or west is very different. Approaching left turn. So that hissing you hear in your left ear, you'll hear that on your right as well if you're approaching a right turn, and that is very important for navigating. Monster is behind. Just drums. Object locator sound. That means an object is close by, and it's what the sound you use to navigate toward it. Object very near. Another object is located. That's in case there's more than obj one an object in a room, so you know there's more than one while you're trying to track one at, the, at one time. Targeting scope on. That's the targeting scope. Monster targeted. Once you hear that high pitch. Tar monster targeted. That means you can shoot your monster or attack them. You are injured sound. <sighs> Object stolen from you. Hey! And that will be explained later. You have hit a wall. Ah, <laughs> uh, you hit a wall. Game is paused. Bio mine and grenade sound. Mine is armed. <laughs> Teleportation sound. Yes, there will be teleportation later. Monster falls dead. Uh. You trip over monster's body. Whoa! Whoa! And that's it. Those are all the sounds. Select from menu. Sound help. Okay, so to get a better understanding of what Shades of Doom is about, I'm going to have you guys listen to the story. And... Listen to story. Enjoy! top of the mountain is clearly visible as your shuttle slowly descends towards the island. You peer up from the controls and see wisps of clouds flicker by your canopy. Breaking through the ceiling, the beauty of the scene is marred by the sight of lines of plasma cannons bristling from shore and mountainside batteries. The high security military research base, funded and run by the FDN, was totally constructed within the mountain making it impregnable to all, including a direct nuclear attack. 
The research performed is of the highest security and secrecy, but even with your considerable clearance level, you only have a vague idea of what goes on in the rapidly approaching base. You wonder to yourself, what are they working on down there? Is it human genetic enhancements, or even biological transformations? Rumors abound, but only a few know this place even exists, and the few who really know what's happening here are cloistered behind thick titanium walls. Two hours ago, all transmissions from the base abruptly stopped, and since you were in the area, FDN Command ordered you to investigate and immediately report back. After landing the craft near the main blast doors, you grab your high-velocity bolt gun, your night scope, and a fully charged EVA belt, and walk towards the guard building. Staring at the security panel, your retina is scanned, and the one meter thick doors quietly open. All is silent. The backs of empty chairs stare back at you as you quickly scan the administrative front office. The room appears as if the previous occupants left in a great hurry. Half-eaten sandwiches and full coffee containers litter the desks. High security consoles are left on, leaving them vulnerable to unauthorized eyes. You spot a sheathed long knife in an open drawer and you take it and strap it to your belt, alongside the EVA. You then notice a standard issue med kit on a nearby desk and you impulsively drop it in your jacket pouch. You sit down at a nearby desk and begin to read a half-finished report glowing brightly from a console. Daily Log, August 18th, 2073. The final stage of the experiment is scheduled for 1200 hours today. After three years of work, John Britton, senior scientist, feels that we only have a fair chance of succeeding. He feels the risks are high, but because of the current political situation and its inherent threat to the security of the Federation of Democratic Nations, I told him to continue. I turned down his request to extend the deadline another three months. I have informed the Senate that I will take all responsibility for this decision on myself. Because of the safety measures in place, I personally feel there is little risk. You notice that the report is unfinished and note that the time stamp on the last sentence was 11.58 hours. You scan the screen and notice an icon labeled Experiment Startup and Shutdown and you select it and proceed to read. You scan quickly through the preamble and find some text that looks promising. Section 2.1 Security considerations have resulted in designing two devices. The experiment startup device will be controlled by John Britton and his five-man management team, and it has been configured so that at least four of the five must enter their codes to execute initiation. To avoid a costly, unauthorized shutdown, the shutdown device is controlled by the security team. The team must enter four color-coded data waivers, one green, one blue, one yellow, and one white. Only two of the officers in the team know the sequence of entry. During an experiment, there will be at least one person on duty with a green data wafer, several with a blue, many with the yellow, and a large number carrying white data wafers. To shut down the experiment, the data wafers must be entered into the shutdown device in the correct order. If the order is incorrect, all data wafers entered thus far will be destroyed, rendering them useless. The device will then be randomized and the data wafers must be reinserted, but the required order will be changed. This would eliminate the chance of panic on the part of a few staff, or from an abort caused by a limited enemy infiltration, prematurely shutting down the experiment. We feel that the chance of needing these measures is minimal, but it is best to be on the safe side. The door at the end of the room is slightly ajar. Above the door is a red light flashing continuously over a sign stating, Authorized Personnel Only. You walk across the room, open the door completely, and cautiously walk through. To your surprise, you hear the electronically controlled door slam behind you as the security lock engages. The light in the tunnel is limited, and so you switch on the EVA and night scope. You can hear the echo of your boots, the soft ping of the night scope, and the wind blowing through the tunnel from the west as you proceed down the passage. As you make your way forward, the sound of an emergency announcement can be heard. Emergency, emergency, please evacuate the base. Emergency, emergency, please evacuate the base. Section 
select from menu listen to story okay so basically experiment has gone to crap and we've got to go shut it down because we're the hero and we'll be collecting data wafers and those are going to be entered in the device at the end of the game to shut down the experiment my account exit game play game so let's go select our experience level. Use your arrow keys to select your experience level. Bring them on. And here's what they are. Don't. It's my turn, Daddy. It's my turn, Daddy. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Bring them on. Bring them on. So you think you've had it bad so far. So you think you've had it bad so far. It's a good day to die. It's a good day to die. Um, that last one is tough. Um, let's do mid-grade. So right. you think bring them on. Bring them on. Press F1 for help. Level 1. Okay, so the first two things I'm going to do is turn off the background music. Menu. Game. Since it is a little loud. Full hell quick. Save game. Load. Pause game. Peach XP. Reset sound card. Control R. Wrong menu. Menu. Option. Audi and background. Simple background. Off. There we go. And I'm going to save my game. Menu. Game. Full hell quit. Save game F3. Save level. Yes or no. Yes. Save in slot. One. Air. Saved. Okay, so we're saved my game. So if you die, you must save because then you'll lose all your progress. Okay, so we're in a hallway. And the way you navigate around this game is mainly it's a grid pattern and it's by compass direction. So northwest, east, and south. So we are currently facing west. And we're heading down a hallway. And if your speakers are working correctly, that emergency message should be almost in your left ear right now. Like it's hanging on the wall. It's in a speaker hanging on the left side of the hallway. Four and eight feet. Okay, so that ping you here is an object. And we were told it was a door. South. On the left side of the hallway. So I'm turning to the left. 90 degrees. Turning on my night scope. Making sure my gun is ready. Manual bolt gun. Because there's always an enemy behind this first door. And to hear that? That's the sound we're aimed. Oh. Get aimed on him. There it is. South. So that high pitch means that you're aimed and you can shoot. If you're not hearing that, if you move left and right with the arrow keys slightly, you'll hear the pitch change, and you'll want to get a higher pitch data wafer. to get closer aim. So I hear an object, and I think it's a data wafer. Data wafer ahead, 14, door to the... Yep, there's a data wafer in this room. <laughs> White Whoa. data wafer taken. And I don't know what that sound was. For North. some reason, every time I come in this room, it just always does that. So, okay, that, you hear that hissing to the left and right? That means you are approaching a turn... In this case, to, that you can go left or right. That echoing you hear is the left uh, to the left and right is my boots. That we're back in the hallway we were, but we're facing north, and we were heading west. So let's turn west, west, and head back down the hallway. Door and three feet south. Oh, another door, and I was right next to the left side of the hallway, so it opened up automatically. Oh, there's an enemy. See, getting higher pitched as I turn left toward him. There it is. Oh, he moved. See if we can do better aim. There. On these higher difficulties, they tend to dodge a bit. There we go, we got him. Okay, there's another enemy in here. Oh, there he is. Got him. Stay away for in 11 feet. Okay, so what room are we in? I can get information about a room. 20 by 40 feet. There is an exit from the room behind. And how many objects are in here? Equipment ahead. Data wafer to the right. Data wafer to the right. Door behind. Equipment ahead. 14. Okay, so equipment and the door are nothing to worry about, but there's two data wafers to my right. So I'm going to sidestep to the right. White Whoa. data wafer taken. White data wafer taken. And those are the only objects in this room, so I'm going to turn around. North. And actually, I'm going to turn to the right, so I'm heading... Um, along the wall of the room and you hear echo to my left north that's the door back out into the hallway west turning west and heading down the hallway again okay there's a hallway here south die already Whoa. okay so a lot just happened right there let me explain that a crazy laughter you heard wasn't an enemy, it was called a crazy scientist. And what they do is they steal your stuff. You know that sound, bonk, hey, from the sound test? That's what that guy causes, and you gotta go kill him to get your stuff back. But I was able to shoot him and the monster that was down the hallway. So we're heading 
south. We turned south, so we turned to the left down a hallway. Proximity Bio Disruptor Mine in 19 feet. That's a fancy name. Proximity oh. Bio Disruptor Mine taken. Okay, if you hear that hissing to your left, that means there's a left turn approaching. Echo to the left. East. Now we can head down the east hallway. Door and six north. Feet. Now I know there's another enemy inside this door, and this is a very small room. North long knife. Oh. You got too north. close to me, so I had to use my long knife. Long knife to kill him. It's a dog. Um. East. Yeah, that's a very small room. There's nothing in there. I think it's like ten by ten feet. Door and seven feet north. Okay, another door. Okay. West. Opening equipment to the right. Okay, so there's nothing in this room. And that opening in the floor, that is a trap that South. leads to level 2. And you can totally skip this but miss all the data wafers on this floor. So we're back in the hallway. East. Heading east. Door okay. and four feet. You can hear an echo to the right. Door that's and a, four feet. That's a hallway, but there's also a door North. to our left here. So let's see what's in this room. I know there's an enemy in here usually. Yep, it's a dog. Manual bolt gun. Shoot it! Manual bolt gun. Long knife. Uh. You got too close to me Green again. Green data wafer taken. Whoa. Got too close to me again, so I had to use North. my knife. How much health do I have? 59%. Okay, I'm, I'm still okay. So what's in this room? 20 by 30 feet. There is an exit from the room behind. Fan to the right door. Fan to the right. And just a Six. quick fan end of door, so nothing interesting. South. So we'll just leave. So that echo you hear to the right is the hallway we came down the east. And now if I made a right turn, we're heading south. So I'm heading south again. And a right turn. West. Heading west. So we basically made like almost an S shape and we're heading down the bottom of the S again. Now this hallway is full of these little alcoves. There's one to the right right there. They're only by like 10 by 10 feet, so there's no need to go in them. And to the left. And to the right. There's a dog. And to the left. So I'm going to give him some distance so I can turn he's around. And he's going to pop out of bolt gun. He's going to pop out of that corner. You can kind of hear him and when he approaches, he'll get louder. There we go. See, he dodges. Oh, East. Is he running away? He might be running away if I hit him. Oh, there he is. Oh, now he's coming to me. Got him. East. Projectile ammunition in eight feet. Projectile oh. ammunition taken. White data wafer taken. So I'm glad I actually killed him because, um... That west. ammunition for my gun. So I basically just turned back around, and now we're going to head west Whoa. down the hallway to the alcove to the right, alcove to the left, and now a final turn to the left. South. So now we're heading south again. And nothing interesting except another left turn. East. And another left turn. North. And a dog. North. <laughs> gotcha. See if you dropped anything. Nope. Alright, now we're heading north. So we're heading north. Door and eight feet. So we kind of turned back on ourselves. East. Um, okay, so this room, I'm going to save my game again. Menu. Game. Full help with game. Save game. Save level. Yes or no. Yes. Yeah, save in slot. One. Area. Saved. Because there's a lot of enemies in this room and... Manual bolt gun. I'll admit, I've died here before. Not even in. There we go. He must have dodged. Okay. Now this South. <sighs> See, I don't know what hit Bio me. Bio grenades. See, they're far enough away. I'm going to use a grenade. Got him. I think. 17%. Oh, I'm really hurt. So let's heal myself. Medkit quantity 2. Ah. 44%. Okay, that's better. Okay. East. So, what happened there? I don't know what hit me. I don't know why I got hurt. 
but then there was I used a bio grenade and threw it at enemies that were far away. I'll explain that more later once I get a better opportunity. So we're now in another room. 50 by 20 feet. There is an exit from the room behind and to the right. Door behind door behind six. Okay, so there's nothing in this room. West. So this is the door I came in. No, this is the hallway. East. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. West. This is the left South. turn to go into that entrance where it said to the right. That's where we're going now. Scope. Manual bolt gun. Oh, hey puppy. Gotcha. South. Okay, so is there anything in this room? Security chip to the left 32. Ooh. Projectile ammunition to the left Ooh. 30. Door to the data wafer ahead. Security, security chip. Okay, so there's like a security chip and a data wafer to my forward right and one to my forward left. Uh, I mean, so they're to my forward left and the others are to my data forward wafer right. Data wafer in 18 feet. So let's get that data wafer first. White Whoa. data wafer taken. Okay. West. Let's see where the other objects are. Security chip behind 39. It's behind me. Projectile ammunition behind door behind. Okay, so they're behind me. East. Projectile ammunition in 20 feet. Line up with it. Projectile yeah. ammunition taken. Security chip in 9 feet. Security chip taken. Alright, now how do I get out of here? 50 by 30 feet. There is an exit from the room ahead and to the left. Okay, so I came in from the left one, so I want to head forward. <laughs> and head South. to the right. Door in 4 feet. There's Manual bolt like gun. North. Hi, buddy. North. Died. Okay. Data away for in 20 feet. Oops, see that, that sound you heard? That means there was data wafer, but then another object was detected. Blue data wafer taken. White data wafer taken. Ooh, blue one. Door okay. in 13 feet. So there's a door. Um, heading 50 in. by 20 feet. There is an exit from the room ahead and to the left. So I came in from the one to the left, turned left down the room, killed the guy, and now I'm going to head out of the room. Manual bolt gun. Ahead. And there's a doggy. Long night. North. He got close to me again. So, health. 21%. Oh, we can't have that. Medkit. Ah. 89%. Ooh, I'm really healed. Okay, so North. now I'm going to head out of the room. Echo to the right. East. So now we're heading down an east hallway. To the right. South. Heading south again. Now there's an alcove here. West. It's just a... 30 by 20 feet. There is an exit from the room behind. So there's no other exits. But <laughs> if you come to the... Message on 11 feet. So I'm hearing... West. I'm facing west, which means I'm like in the northwest corner of this room. But if I head forward, there's a wall. If I try to step right, there's a wall. But if you can hear it over the dog and the, the object sound, there's a little hissing. Now, if you push your arrow keys, you turn incrementally like a few degrees. If you get that so it's facing right in front of you, you can step yes. forward and you enter Long a secret night. room. So let me kill the dog now. Stop it. West. Okay, so when I Whoa. heard that hissing in front of me, I just stepped forward and now I'm in like a West. secret room. Now, let me Whoa. get this message. Message one green. Okay, so the messages are, there's eight, because the shutdown device requires eight slots. And when you get these messages, it tells you what color data wafer goes in that slot. So one is green, so we got to remember that. East. Luckily, there's a... East. Um, a keystroke that tells you what messages you've collected Whoa. but if you miss one then you kind of have to guess what the data wafer is supposed to be so now i'm back in the corner of that secret room try to step forward <laughs> and to the right so that hissing which you can hear much better now if you turn your with your arrow keys toward it and step forward now i'm back East. in that room i was in before back in the hallway echoes to the left south. and right turn south and head down the hallway Door in five feet west. Okay. Another door, but if I try to open this one, it's locked. So do I have anything for that? Proximity bot secure security chip. That means it's unlocked. Now, Manual bolt gun. There's always an enemy behind this door. 
And he's shooting at me. West. That wasn't very nice. But I get his weapon. Send the automatic bolt gun in 19 feet. Send the automatic bolt gun taken. Projectile ammunition taken. Elevator in 15 feet. So now that I have his weapon, this is the manual bolt gun. Manual bolt gun. This is semi auto. Send the automatic bolt gun. <laughs> Alright. South. Now an elevator. See? Door to the left. Fort elevator ahead. 15. The elevator signifies either the beginning or the end of the level. On level 1, it's the end. And that is the end of level one. So join me next time for level two. So that was the first level of Shades of Doom. I really hope you had a immersive experience and you're able to understand a lot more this time how I was navigating. I think I explained it a lot better and we will continue making videos like this and there are other games that I want to play and I want to bring in some more fitness videos and other things so stay tuned for whatever is coming up next.